Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com, the second week of July 2021. Actor Chick Venera died July 7, 2021, at his home in Burbank, California. He died of cancer at the age of 74. He was known for roles in movies including The Milagro Beanfield War and Thank God It's Friday. He was a veteran of the U.S. Army Signal Corps. Venera is also being remembered for voice roles, including Pesto and the God Pigeon on Animaniacs, and he made memorable appearances on The Golden Girls. Reality TV personality Dolores Avery died July 8, 2021, under hospice care. She died of dementia at the age of 83. She was the mother of Stephen Avery, whose story was told in the 2015 Netflix true crime series Making a Murderer. Avery is being remembered for her frequent appearances on the show. She was a devoted mother who always maintained her son's innocence. One mourner on Legacy.com said, She is at peace, but I know she'll continue to be there for Stephen every step of the way. Her strength of character and dedication to her son was truly inspiring. World War II Army veteran Henry Parham died July 4, 2021 at Pittsburgh VA Medical Center. He died of bladder cancer at the age of 99. He was the last known soldier still living from the only all-black battalion to land on the beach at Normandy on D-Day. Parham is being remembered for his role in launching barrage balloons to help protect Allied troops from German bombers. Actor William Smith died July 5, 2021, at the Motion Picture and Television Fund's Country House and Hospital at the age of 88. He often played tough guys, starring in the TV western Laredo and the popular miniseries Rich Man, Poor Man. He was also known for unforgettable appearances in movies like Conan the Barbarian and Any Which Way You Can. One mourner on Legacy.com remembered him. My all-time favorite actor. I saw him in a biker movie, The Losers, as a kid and was hooked. His body of work, screen presence, and villainous portrayals were second to none. Smith was a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. He served during the Korean War. Former Louisiana Governor Edwin Edwards died July 12, 2021, at his home in Gonzales, Louisiana. He died of respiratory problems at the age of 93. He was a Democrat who served four terms as Louisiana's governor, spearheading a rewritten constitution for the state. Edwards is being remembered for his humor, but also for the corruption that landed him in prison after four successful terms as governor. Edwards was a veteran of the U.S. Navy Air Corps. He served in World War II. Actor Charlie Robinson died July 11, 2021, at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles. He died of cardiac arrest at the age of 75. He's best known for starring on the 1980s sitcom Night Court as Mac, the level-headed court clerk. Robinson is also being remembered for stage work, as well as roles on other sitcoms like Home Improvement, Heart of Dixie, and Mom. One mourner on Legacy.com said, Mr. Robinson brought so much joy and laughter into my life with his wonderful effortless acting. His smile could light up a room.
pro wrestler Paul Orndorff died July 12, 2021 in Fayetteville, Georgia at the age of 71. He was best known as Mr. Wonderful as he wrestled for the WWE and WCW. Fans loved his on-again, off-again rivalry with fellow WWE star Hulk Hogan. One fan remembered him on Legacy.com. One of my first favorites when I got into wrestling as a teen, a certified tough guy according to his peers, I remember him giving Hogan all he could handle in the 1980s. Guitarist Jeff Labar died July 14, 2021, at his apartment in Nashville at the age of 58. He was the guitarist for the 80s and 90s glam metal band Cinderella. Labar is being remembered for playing on hits like Don't Know What You Got Till It's Gone and Shelter Me. Tennis player Shirley Fry Irvin died July 13, 2021 in Naples, Florida. She died in her sleep at the age of 94. She was the number one woman tennis player in the world in 1956, and she was one of only 10 women to win the Grand Slam in tennis. Irvin is being remembered as a pioneer of the sport who was an inspiration to later stars of women's tennis. In Surfside, Florida, more victims of a condo building collapse have been identified. At least 95 people have died, and only 14 remain missing in the final days of the search and recovery operation. At least 46 people have died in severe flooding in western Germany and Belgium. Dozens more are missing. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Louisiana have been lowered to honor the memory of former Governor Edwin Edwards. Flags in New Jersey have been lowered to honor the memory of former Camden Mayor Gwendolyn Faison. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Sergeant McDouglas J. Deegan and Army National Guard Staff Sergeant Jordan Philip Snow. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of Terre Haute Police Detective Greg Ferenczi. Flags in Arizona have been lowered to honor the memory of wildland firefighting aircraft personnel Jeff Pichura and Matthew Miller. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.